Hi everyone, welcome back to Gracie's Garden. I'm in Florida Zone 9B, and today I have a plant haul. There's a lot of plant festivals going on right now here in Central Florida, so I plan on hitting a lot of them. So I'll show you the most recent one I went to, which is the Deland Wildflower Festival in Deland, Florida. And yeah, I'll go ahead and show you what I purchased there. So I wanted to start with the first little thing I purchased, which was this cute little bouquet. And this is actually wood, and they are hand-painted. And it's a little magnet for your refrigerator. And they're not dyed. She said she hand-paints everything. And this is the lady. She, you can order from her Facebook or Instagram. I just thought I'd show you that. Painted Petals, it's called. And the second plant I purchased was this. It's a cute little two-inch pot, maybe. And the lady did not know the name of this. Um, she was an artist that was there, and she was just selling a couple of starter plants. But it was a dollar, so I thought I'd give it a try. Kind of reminds me of those clovers, but I'm not sure if it's the same type of leaf as those. So I thought that was cute. Kind of whimsical the way it moves. The next plant I purchased was a philodendron jopii. And well, you can see this is the leaf. I just love these odd shaped leaves. So I thought that was very nice. I find these types of plants very entertaining with their weird little shapes. The next plant I purchased was this, uh, which is milkweed. It is a huge plant and it is heavy. So I'm just going to leave it in the my uh, wagon, but this is it. There's actually four plants in the pot. It was $15, and it is probably about three foot tall. I'm not sure I'm actually going to plant this in the ground. I'm thinking about just cutting the bottom of the black pot away from it, maybe two or three inches, and then just digging a small hole and setting the pot in there. I don't really have any place to put it that doesn't have stuff around it or other plants around the area I want to put it. So I think I'm just going to leave it in the pot for now. Okay, and the next plant I purchased was a Hoya polynura. I had one of these before, but I don't know what ever happened to it. So I'm going to give it another try. I just like their little leaves and how it kind of has multiple plants in there. I think there's three or four plants in the pot. I like the structure of those leaves and the color. The next one was this. I think this is in the scan, uh, snake family of plants, Sansevieria. Uh, so just Oh, I keep shaking it, <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, that's what I purchased there. I don't have an actual name on that one. The next one I purchased was a Salvia Rockin' Deep Purple, and this is from Lindley Farms and Garden Nursery in New Smyrna Beach. They were at the festival this week, so some really nice salvia. These were eight dollars e eight seventy five each. I bought two of those. The next one was a begonia. This is the like grapevine begonia. And there's about three plants in there. This was about seven dollars, I believe, or six or seven dollars. This is my last time trying this plant. If I can't get it to go, I'm not buying it no more. This is my third attempt at this one. I really like how it looks once it gets going, but it just never seems to live through the winter for me. 
then the next one was a Mia Mina. So I have one of these already, but I just like the way the leaves look at this, like this, um, just seemed very many, uh, smaller, where the other one I have has larger leaves, so I thought I'd give this a try. I do well with those types of plants. And the final plant was a bottle brush tree. They gave everybody starts. These were given out for free by a company called treeworksnow.com. And they did woodworking and all types of art, but they were giving away bottle brush. Uh, I purchased, uh, well, I picked this up from my mom. Like I said, these were free. They're just little, little starts. And this I'm going to give to my mom. I have one already in my yard in the backyard, so I think my mom will like this. She's trying to get more trees in her backyard. So. Okay, and that is all of the plants that I purchased. Let me show you the azalea in bloom. So this is the azalea I purchased last week at last week's plant sale. This orange cat's with us. Look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? And it just goes all the way around. I just think that's lovely. And it smells so sweet. And this is the native azalea to Florida. And just a quick look at the butterfly garden. As you can see, I got a lot of weeds, but I'm going to let them go. I planted so many seeds, I'm not sure what is what anymore. So I'm just going to let the weeds grow for right now until they get a little bit older so I can determine what needs to be actually pulled. But everything is in bloom. The sunflowers are back here. And they're starting to weed themselves out from my overplant planting of them. I have tomatoes on the tomato plant back there. And the cosmos are starting to come up over in this area. And all this green here is the zinnias. They're starting to come up. And then back here we have the Dutchman's Pike, which is in bloom. I haven't seen any caterpillars yet, but I'm sure they're coming soon. And these are all the seeds we started earlier in the season. Uh, we have the peas here. And these are the gourds from that gourd that kind of rotted on the front porch at Halloween time. And I took the seeds out of it. So they are doing great. And I do have a few blank spots of things that just never came up. And then some of the seeds. I'm not sure what those are. I'm going to have to go back and watch the, my old video to see what those are. And then in this tray are just the skirsum, the skirsums can't say that I'm from the south so <laughs> but they're starting to finally come up and then the onions are coming up over there so everything's doing pretty good I've only had one plant that's a casualty which is this back here um, whatever it is it's just flopped over and not not doing too well but I'm gonna let it ride out and see what it does or if it bounces back but I think it's it's the only one that hasn't made it out of all the plants this season which isn't too bad. You always get one or two that don't do not do too well. All right, everyone. That is it. Short video this week. Um, I want to put some footage of me at the Flower Festival at the end here. Um, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. I'll see you in next week's video. Bye.
Valley? 